I'm Emma. And I'm Emily. Hey everyone, we're so glad you're here with us today. We are, it's gonna be a great day. So how about you all find someone near you, give them a high five and tell them you're so glad to see them. Let's do it. Ready kids? Find someone near you in three, two, one, go. Hey Emma. Hey Emily. <laughs> hey kids. Hey kids. <laughs> all right, great. Tune back in kids. Like Emma said, we're so glad you're here. Whether you're joining us in person at one of our campuses or online somewhere in the world, know that in Valley Creek kids, say this with me if you know it, hope is here. here. Everyone is welcome. welcome. And Jesus changes everything. everything. <laughs> yes, Jesus is hope. And today is all about spending time with him and each other. So first up, how about we have some fun together? Let's play a game. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Kids, are you ready? Let's check in to see what we're playing today. It's game time. Hello kids. It's time to play what happens next. I will show you a video and then pause it before something happens. Then you have to guess what happens next. Ready? Let's go. What happens next? A. A bird flies out. B. A horse pokes its head out. C. A dog jumps out. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens next. Looks like the answer was B. Did you get it right? Let's go to the next video. What happens next? A. The dog slides down the hill. B. The dog rolls down and turns into a snowball. C. The dog gets up and runs through a snowman. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens next. Looks like the answer was A. Did you get it? Let's go to the next video. What happens next? A. The dog comes up with a face full of mud. B. The dog catches a fish. C. The dog finds a pair of boots. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens next. Looks like the answer was A. Did you get it? Let's do one more. What happens next? A. The dog pulls his toy up. B. The dog pulls up the floorboard. C. The dog falls backwards. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens next. Looks like the answer was B. Did you get it right? Great job kids. That's all I have today. Bye. Thanks for playing, kids. Now, as we're having fun together in the presence of Jesus, let's prepare ourselves to receive the message He has for us today. Yes. First, how about we all stand on up? Come on, kids, up on your feet. Maybe hop up and down a few times, yeah? <laughs> okay, so now let's turn our hearts and minds towards Jesus by declaring out loud the good news of who He is and the life that we get to have because of Him. Yes, kids, we are going to shout this out together. Come on. I believe God is good. Kids, that is the good news, that because God is good, He sent Jesus to offer us forgiveness so that now we can live in a relationship with Him forever, knowing that we are loved and that with Him, 
everything is possible. That's right, kids. We hope you always remember that. Mm -hmm. Now, as we keep going, let's stay in this position of having our hearts and minds turn towards Jesus. Everybody say, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> let's worship Jesus together. Worship is our heart's natural response to what we value most. And Jesus is the only one worthy of being the one we value most. Yeah. He is the only one worthy of our worship. He is. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords who came and laid his life down for us because he loves us. As we dance and sing to some songs together, let's focus on him and be aware that he is with us. Let's worship. Here we go. Your 
thoughts become my own This heart of mine Come and refine To be like you I am the branch You are the vine Here in your love I will abide You are the way The truth and the life I bring you the praise you desire Thanks for worshiping with us, kids. You can all go ahead and sit back down now. Yes, find your spot, get comfortable, and once you are, everybody go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. <sighs> Let's do it one more time. Let's all take a deep breath in. And out. <sighs> okay, for the past few weeks, we have been discovering more about the truth that Jesus has forgiven. Yep. So Jesus is our savior. He came to earth and died on the cross to offer us forgiveness and take the penalty for every misstep in our past, our present, and our future. That's right. In Jesus, we have been set free and he has empowered us to live free too. Galatians 5.1 in the Bible says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. When we receive Jesus' forgiveness and make him the Lord of our lives, we get to live free as beloved sons and daughters in God's family, following where he leads us and becoming more like him. That's so good, Emily. <laughs> in Jesus, we have been set free. So how about we all say that Bible verse, Galatians 5, 1 together to help us remember it. You ready, kids? All right, repeat after me. It is, it is for freedom, for freedom that Christ, that Christ has set us free, has set us free. Galatians 5.1. Galatians 5.1. Great job, everyone. And kids, do you know what's really amazing? Tell us, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is nothing we have to do to earn the forgiveness, the freedom, the new life that Jesus offers us. We just get to receive it. Yes, that's <laughs> right, kids. That's actually what we're discovering today that we get to focus on what Jesus has done for us, not what we have to do for him. Yes, I can't wait for you guys to hear more. So how about we just go ahead and dive right in? Let's do it. <laughs> Kids, check this out. Hey kids, I'm Brianna. And I'm Sarah. We are so excited to be here to discover Jesus with you guys. Brianna, tell us what we're talking about today. Okay, so today we're discovering that we get to live, focus on what Jesus has done for us, 
not what we have to do for him. So kids, do you guys know what Jesus has done for us? Jesus is basically like a superhero. He came to earth and died for us to forgive every mistake we could ever make in our past and present and future, mm -hmm. making a way for us to live free as beloved sons and daughters in God's family. Yes, and that's not even all. After dying for us, Jesus rose back to life with the power of the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that now lives in us when we receive Jesus' forgiveness and make him Lord or leader of our life. Yep. In Jesus, we are God's beloved sons and daughters. In his presence, his Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is with us always, empowering us to live the life he created us for. Yes, that is what Jesus did for us. He is amazing. Yeah. So now we get to live focused on what Jesus has done for us, not what we have to do for him. Yes, not what we have to do for him. Because guess what? All of that awesome stuff Jesus did for us, we didn't do anything to earn any of that, did we? No, I don't remember ever doing anything to earn something that cool, right? We didn't do anything to earn it. Jesus did all of that for us just because he loved us. Yes. Check it out. In the Bible, 1 John 4.10 says, This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and mm -hmm. sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So atoning sacrifice is just a fancy way to say what we were talking about earlier, that Jesus came to earth and died for us to forgive every mistake we could ever make in our past and present and future. Mm -hmm. And that scripture tells us that Jesus did that just because he loves us. Yes, Jesus loves us. So he came to earth and died to save us. It is as simple as that. It had nothing to do with how good we are or how much we love him. Yeah. It has everything to do with how good he is yeah. and how much he loves us. He just freely gave. So there was and is nothing we have to do to earn it. We don't have to pay Jesus mm -hmm. back. It's done and we just receive it. We get to live focused on what Jesus has done for us, not what we have to do for him. Jesus is the best, isn't he? Yeah. So so kids, we actually would love to tell you a Bible story that shows us what it looks like to live focused on Jesus. How about we do that now? Yes, let's do it. Oh, but hang on. Perfect. All right. Now we are ready. Awesome. Okay, so this story can be found in the Bible in Luke 10. There were two sisters named Mary. Hey guys, I'm Mary. And the second sister's name was Martha. And I'm Martha. So one day, Jesus and his disciples were traveling through the town where Mary and Martha lived. It's me, Jesus, and we are his followers. So Jesus and his disciples needed somewhere to stay. So Martha opened her home to them. You can come stay at my house. Whoa, kids, can you imagine that? Jesus coming to stay at your house? No, it would be awesome though. As a matter of fact, Martha thought it was a pretty big deal too. She started doing all kinds of things to prepare. I must cook, I must clean. There are so many things I need to do to prepare for Jesus. Yeah, Martha was really focused on everything she needed to do for Jesus. But meanwhile, Martha's sister Mary was there too. Hi everyone, I'm still here. But Mary, she wasn't caught up in helping Martha do things. Instead, Mary sat down at Jesus' feet and focused on him. Instead of helping Martha, Mary stayed and listened to what Jesus said, spending time with him. As a matter of fact, when Martha got upset that Mary wasn't helping her, Jesus explained to them, Martha, Martha, you are worried about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is best and it will not be taken away from her. So Martha was kind of missing out, wasn't she guys? Like Jesus was there at her house, but instead of focusing on him, she was all stressed out, focused on what she thought she had to do for him. Exactly. And kids, we don't have to live like that. Instead, we get to live focused on Jesus and what he has done for us. All right. So kids, like Mary, we get to live focused on what Jesus has done for us, not on what we have to do for him. Yes, because guys, if you lived life focused on yourself, trying to do things for Jesus, that would be so discouraging. You'd always be working harder and trying to do better, probably feeling like you need to do that in order to earn his love, which you don't. Yeah. But kids, living life focused on Jesus, focused on who he is and what he has done for you, well, that's a much better way to live. Yes. When we look at him, we remember that we are loved chosen, yes. wanted, and forgiven. Yes. There is nothing you need to do to earn Jesus's love and forgiveness. Yes. He freely gives that to you. 
Yes, all right, kids. Can I take a minute to pray over you? Let's all go ahead and hold our hands out like this as a sign that we're ready to receive what Jesus has for us today. And can we close our eyes to help us tune out distractions so that we can actually focus on Jesus right now? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Jesus, thank you so much that we don't have to do anything to earn your love and forgiveness. Yeah. You came and died for us so yeah. that we could live as beloved sons and daughters in God's family. Right. Would you help us live focused on you, knowing that we are loved, chosen, wanted, yeah. and forgiven? It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys can go ahead and open your eyes. We'll see you next time. Bye! So today we've discovered that we get to focus on what Jesus has done for us, not what we have to do for him. There is nothing we have to do to earn the forgiveness that Jesus offers us. We just get to receive it and live free. That's right. So let's talk about that discovery together. It's time for us to get into our circles. Yay! In a minute, if you're joining us in person at one of our local campuses, you're going to get into your circles. Everybody say circles. Circles! <laughs> circles are where we follow and become like Jesus together. And if you're joining us online from home, there'll be some prompts on the screen that you can do the same. It's going to be great. Yes, it is. Well, kids, thank you for joining us today. Go this week remembering the four truths that, and say these with us if you know them. God is good. Jesus, Jesus has, has forgiven, forgiven me. I am loved and everything is possible. Yes. Great job, everyone. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye, kids. <laughs>